That first season was a banner year for the Columbus Chill. In fact, Columbus Monthly voted the Chill the best sporting event in Columbus. And Columbus Alive voted them the best new addition to Columbus and the athlete you'd most likely want to sit down and have a Budweiser with after the game. Yes, the Chill was off and running. However, year two would start with a little bit of a glitch. It seems the fairgrounds management would schedule in the month of February three events in two buildings all at the same time. After only one season, Columbus may be losing one of the most popular pro sports teams that this city has ever attracted. The chill is getting the word that the fairgrounds coliseum will not be available for all of the home hockey games that it's scheduled. It came as a complete surprise to the chill president and their coach. They told our Dave Summers that former fair boss Billy Inman had promised them any dates they wanted. Columbus hockey fans are fighting mad over the prospect of losing their team. Last year, the Chill played to sell out crowds, and this year, 4,300 fans have already purchased season tickets. Austin Fair manager Billy Inman gave the team only four dates in February, none in March. A threatening letter from the East Coast Hockey League made it quite clear that wasn't acceptable. The commissioner wrote, the board approved the franchise in good faith. We're running out of patience. The, the job didn't get done here, and, and it's unfortunate. It's put not only ourselves in a bad position, but the other two events as well. Later, the former fair boss promised Joe President David Payton the team would get the eight home games it needed in February. But Inman rented out the Coliseum to a travel show. I know you don't feel comfortable pointing fingers, but the fact is, Billy Inman made these contracts. Do you blame him? Well, this name on his own made contracts. Uh, what else can I say? This has left scrambling to hook five of those eight dates. So far, he's been able to guarantee three scheduled February games. If the other five don't fit in, it could mean chill out. The Church Public Relations Coordinator received 200 phone calls from concerned fans, most with season tickets. Strangely, though, they weren't looking for a refund. They were wondering what they could do to help keep it chill in Columbus. And Doug, one postscript, we did get hold of Billy Inman down in his Kentucky home, and he said... Uh, to the point, I have no comment. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, at least we've heard from Billy. We've given him a chance to respond. Huh? So many times, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Dave.